Councilman Brown. Okay. Um, first, I want to say happy birthday to my son, um, my old son, Peter. He actually turned seven on uh, last council meeting, so that's why I was not here at the last council meeting. Um, so I just want to get that out of the way. Um, so from the budget and re um, budget review and finance, approvals requested for the following finance actions. The payment of bills totaling one million nine hundred fifty thousand five hundred forty three dollars and sixty five cents. The bills have been, been signed by the mayor, council president and the finance chair and a detailed check register and vouchers are in file in the clerk's office. I move for approval and ask for a second. Second. Yes. 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 Crosby Hurling. Yes. Sadowski. Yes. Strano. Yes. Yamakaitis. Yes. Medina. Yes. Hickey. Yes. Mr. Alvarez. Yes. Okay. Um, last night I didn't get the uh, chance to discuss this last night, but um, I'm going to make a motion for a street light in my ward. Um, on Maple Avenue for poll number 63670LD. The reason I'm making this motion now is, is at, at this particular uh, location and on this street, there's been three robberies uh, within the last month. Um, so I feel that there needs to be a light there. So I ask for a second. I make a motion, ask for a second. Second. Mrs. Ormond? Yes. Byer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Brooks? Yes. Crosby Hurling? Yes. Sadowski? Yes. Strano? Yes. Yamakaitis? Yes. Medina? Yes. Hickey? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Okay. Um, one thing I do want to talk about quickly, um, if, you, if the residents remember a couple months ago, we hired a firm, ETI, to go into our public works department to do a study. Uh, for the last two, three years since I've been chair, uh, one of the issues I wanted to address besides um, the police was the public works department. We often get a lot of uh, phone calls and complaints about some of the things that are going on within um, the city with public works. So we did get a study and, and we got the results of our study back in December of last year. Uh, I think it's important for residents to know that the study um, has been published. I've looked it over. And one of the things that stuck out to me is some of the quotes that this individual who did the report has stated, basically that if we don't do anything, this place will fall apart within the last five years if nothing is done. And he gave basically 15 recommendations that I believe that the council should act on um, within the next couple of months. My opinion is that Public Works, uh, while the employees are great, there are some issues that he brought out that we need to address as a council. This should be a priority. Um, in the report, the individual, and I want to read his conclusion, uh, is that Linden is at this moment facing a real turning point in its long history. He has the opportunity to do the right things to have the community reach its full potential and achieve great things. A vital first step has been taken in that everyone recognized that there is a problem in how much of the city government is functioning. The opportunity now is at hand to set Linden on the right path by committing to good government and professional management. It is not expected that everyone will agree with everything that is in this report. Uh, this is not the objective. Rather, it's the purpose to present information and ideas that will stimulate discussion, debate, and consideration that will helpfully lead to action. Many of the ideas expressed here can hopefully serve as a blueprint to assist policymakers and the community and the community make decisions to take action that will make everyone proud and lead Linda to greater heights. Uh, I encourage residents that once this report becomes public to read this report because I believe there are a lot of good recommendations I would like to see the council to act on. Um, and then I just have one other issue is I would like to make a motion. Um, the mayor asked me to make a motion and I'm honored that he asked me to make the motion and give him his due respect is that the business administrator is by right his appointment and he asked me uh, today to make that recommendation since he cannot make that motion uh, himself. So I'm just putting a motion out there for the appointment as per the mayor's uh, rights for the business administrator for Gary uh, Minitza and ask for a second. Second. Okay, at this point, I wanna make a motion to table 
to an indefinite date. Council President. We didn't talk about this. Council President. According to the rules, okay. once it has been second, it can be motioned to table, and I'm in motion to table to an indefinite date, and I'm asking for a second. Second. Mr. Clerk, can you please call the roll? Mrs. Ormond? No. Byer? Yes. Brown? No. Brooks? Yes. Crosby Hurling? Yeah, but I don't like indefinite. It can be brought up again. It's going to be brought up again. Right. It carries beyond this meeting. What is it? I said, yeah, but I don't. Okay. Sadowski? No. Strano? No. Yamakaitis? No. Medina? Yes. Hickey? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Two, four, six, six yes, four no, uh, five no, I'm sorry. Anything else, Mr. Brown? Absolutely. One of the reasons why I made that motion, and just like I said, is that based off the individual's report, one of the recommendations under number four calls for proceeding with the appointment of a business administrator. Like I've stated, the recommendation of this third party individual is that council needs to act if we're going to improve the conditions of the city. The other issue that he brought up in his report is how individual council members directly uh, try to manage employees going over department heads. And this is one, one of the reasons why we have chaos in some of our departments, primarily public works. Again, I encourage residents to read this report for the fact that as we see, in my opinion, is that sometimes we prolong things and we don't listen to our professionals. And one of the issues was hiring a business administrator so we can get not just DP, DPW in better shape, but overall the city. Um, so other than that, that's the end of my report. Thank you, Councilman.